Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to connect to Azure Databricks from Power BI. So I want to establish a connection from Power BI to Databricks. So here, uh, right now I am doing in Microsoft Azure Databricks. Click on that. Sir, by default in, in general Databricks community, uh, like uh, uh, from uh, from other vendors, you can, there in the downside, you can see the partner, uh, partner connect. Here you don't see that any here uh, in Databricks. Now you need to come here between the forward slash and question mark. You need to write partner connect and press enter. So it now this wizard will take you to the uh, like marketplace. Here you need to select the Power BI desktop. Now here you need to select that uh, like where you want uh, you would like to like uh, which uh, what is the sequencer that you like. Okay, where your catalog is hosted from where okay right now I am having only one server warehouse so catalog one is personal personal compute now my catalogs are hosting on this so I am selecting this one now download connection file it is do got downloaded in the power bi sometimes what will uh, like one hour you open right it will access uh, it will require access token now so now click on here generate here now tag Power BI name can be anything. So I'm right generating the new password. I'm copying. So I'm trying to save in Notepad. Okay, and press enter. Now go on this one. So if my uh, in my place it got installed or the Power BI got installed, so that's the reason I'm can I open the, this file directly. So it is directly opening the file here. If it is not, uh, if it is asking any credentials, then at that time you need to select the access token. There you need to give the uh, this access token here. Now if I go here directly, it is getting authenticated. Now click on Databricks and go to here more and type here Databricks. So now I'm selecting Azure Databricks Connect. So here uh, coming to that now go to Catalla Compute and uh, SQL Warehouses. Click on that and your connection details. Now here come down and uh, server name and coming to HTTP path. Okay. Now default catalog, we will leave that optional all this. Okay, now press connect. So it is a once I have already a third token got added, right? So that is automatically, this is take, taking that token. Otherwise, it will prompt for the this thing. So this is what this is one of the way how we can authenticate, how we need to connect to Azure Databricks from Power BI. I hope you may like this video. Thank you.